Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today I decided to take a video regarding gathering which is one of the most crucial and one of the most important aspect of the whole game. Uh, in this game, in Call of Dragons, we have four resources which, is go which are gold, lumber, ore and mana. Without these resources, it will be impossible for you to do anything in the game, like everything costs these resources, and it is important to have them a lot, because as you are progressing through the game, uh, more and more resources are required for the upgrades, like for example, Sacred Hall for 25, 72 million uh, gold, 72 million lumber, 32 8 million ore and 5.1 million mana is required to start upgrading this building. So now you can easily imagine uh, how much uh, resources you need throughout the seasons and throughout the uh, gameplay experience. But until we will speak more deeply regarding the gathering, we of course we need to speak about heroes uh, for the gathering which is really really important. Currently in the game there are four heroes which are gathering heroes and they are Pen, uh, Kela, Chakcha and one legendary one which is Indis. Well, every each of them are overall styles which mean doesn't matter which kind of legion type you will choose, they can, they can use all unit types while gathering. Uh, well, there is a question, right? Like, there is a four gatherers, and which one is the most efficient one? In my opinion, Pen is the best gatherer and the most efficient gatherer in the game right now, simply because she has the highest amount of gathering speed bonus. If we can compare Pen to other gatherers, the difference is obvious. For example, uh, 20% uh, for the gathering bonus and 20% for the wood bonus, right? Both of them are 20. Let's go to Kela. Uh, Kela has 15% for, for a gathering bonus and 10% for the gold. Chakcha uh, has 10% and 10%. And there is the last one, legendary one. Le well, it will be easy for everybody to understand that the legendary one would be the best one, but it gives... 20 to 10. So the pan is the best uh, and most fastest gatherer in the game currently and in my opinion the, she is the one on which you should attach the most important gathering artifact uh, in the game. Well, whenever you are starting the game I suggest you to use all your XP uh, books on the gatherers uh, because like it's really simple, right? Uh, whenever we go to the talent tree uh, of the gathering units, this talent uh, book and talent tree is one of the most important talent trees in the game. Simple as why, right? All because of Earth's Grace talent. Well, what the Earth's Grace talent gives us? Whenever your legion uh, with the gathering uh, commander, gathering hero as a primary is uh, gathering the node, Whenever it will finish the gathering and uh, your commander or your hero will go back to your town, it will get 1.2% of the number of resources gathered uh, as an XP. So it means that whenever your gathering hero is gathering, uh, one, you are getting resources, and second, you are upgrading the levels of your gatherers. So it is really important for every gatherer to have Earth's Grace on a max, and here it is Earth's Grace 2, which will give you even more experience per day, which will be 2% and maximum of 20,000. So it is like one of the most easiest ways uh, in the game right now to uh, get experience and get another valuable thing, which are uh, resources. Uh, yet again, there is one uh, important talent um, in the gathering section for the talents of the gathering heroes, and it's about Windfall. Well, Windfall receives additional reward items when your legion depletes a resource point. Well, whenever you are gathering, you, are, you want always to deplete the resource uh, node, because you will get additional chests 
while gathering so let's say uh, we have windfall upgraded whenever we will deplete like like finish the gold gathering for example for example you're gonna get standard resource bundle which will have either 10,000 gold, 10,000 wood, 7.5 ore, or 5,000 mana. So now, like, synergy is pretty simple, right, with talents. Um, all you want to, to have is s grace 1 and s grace 2 on a maximum amount of uh, points. And if you are, like, pan, I'm using generally pan as a wood gatherer. And of course, like uh, wood gathering would be the uh, main option to upgrade in the talents. If uh, we will speak regarding Indies, I am using Indies as a, a mana gatherer. Uh, like regarding Kela, I'm using Kela uh, for gold gathering, and I I got gold uh, veteran goldsmith, 25% fastest gatherer, and Chakcha is a ore gatherer. And of course, I have uh, ore gathering uh, maxed out too. This is like all about talents uh, for the heroes of uh, for the gathering. And of course, there are um, artifacts for the heroes to help them gather resources faster. Uh, in my opinion, regarding the artifacts, one of the most one of the best utility artifact in the game is Lucius Horn, because uh, Lucius Horn is giving all our gathering speed. Which is amazing, like only this overall gathering species uh, like enough to uh, enough for the Lucius Horn to be important. And the skill the skill is like nothing important. You are like upgrading the resource nodes to uh, plus one level. Well, this is the only like pure gathering artifact, legendary artifact in the game currently. But we have some good ones in the lower qualities. For example, Greenfinger Sickle is a great uh, artifact for your gather. Simply why? Because like load capacity, uh, Legion load capacity means that like you will be required less less army to gather the resources. But here, what's important is like quick gather. Uh, the skill of this uh, artifact, and whenever you are using your skill, you are you are immediately getting um, like gold, wood, or or mana. Like depends on which uh, resource node you are gathering currently. Uh, again, once more, there is another um, artifact, enchanted coins, which is like the lowest rarity of the artifact, but. Who cares, right? Because we are getting overall gathering speed. Um, like, the skill on this artifact doesn't really matter. Like, you are donating uh, the small portion of gold on the earth. I think you can use it on some quests. But all we care here is overall gathering speed. And, like, as you, as you can see by yourself, there is, like, only two artifacts in game who which are giving you the overall gathering speed. speed. One is Lucius Horn, and the second one is Enchanted Coins. Regarding, like, third, uh, like, fourth artifact for the your Chakcha, like, well, there is not an other choice to get, and the only one I chose to have it is Illusory Gems, simply because of having, like, more uh, capacity for my gatherers. Well, in general, uh, for the uh, gameplay of the gathering, it's pretty simple. Uh, try to uh, pick the gathering node which you can deplete for your windfall, right? Like simply because like whenever you uh, are gathering and you recall your gatherer, you won't gonna get additional chests. Uh, your alliance members will be angry because uh, no new uh, nodes will be spawned until you you gathered whole node. So always, whenever you are trying to gather some resources, for example, or right reserves, like this is the amount of ore you can uh, gather from this node. Whenever you are clicking on the hero you want to get, well, you already know that you need uh, what amount of uh, uh, resources to gather. So, when you can see load capacity here, right? This is the same amount of the load capacity as it here. So, like easily you can uh, deplete all the nodes from in the game. So you will get additional uh, chests, uh, which are the standard resource bundles. You are getting the experience, and of course you are getting the 
uh, resources which are really really important well this is all we can speak currently about gathering uh, like I would suggest everybody to gather as much uh, resources as possible because resources are never enough like every day you are spending on your army every uh, upgrade costs a lot whenever you are going to the late game and especially as if you are as, as free to play as me like I have not even spent single dollar in the game and I don't even have a farmer account keep it in mind so if you are just like me try to gather uh, with your gatherers as much as possible and I'm sure it will be beneficial for you. Thanks for watching. I hope my videos are helping you to understand the game in a better way. Um, I will continue doing what I'm doing. Bye-bye. Uh,